natural regions around the world. There are many different kinds of plants and animals on the earth, but only certain kinds are naturally found at any particular place. Cacti are found in the desert. Polar bears are found in the Arctic and elephants are found in Central Africa and India. You are a kid living in Maharashtra. Do you have to be on the lookout for snow leopards or worry about finding yaks on the road? Haha, <laughs> not at all. Why so? Because these animals are not adapted to live in the weather conditions in Maharashtra. The general weather conditions such as the range of temperature and rainfall that typically occur in a particular location like Pune are called the climate of that location. Some climates are hot, some are cold, some are wet, some are dry. Adapted means that a plant or animal has inherited certain characteristics that enable it to live in one type of climate or another. A camel is adapted to living in a desert. It cannot survive in a cold climate. A polar bear is adapted to living in very cold places. It cannot live in a hot climate. What do you call a polar bear that is walking around in the desert? A lost polar bear. <laughs> that was a joke. Plants and animals don't live alone. They live together with other plants and animals in a group called a community. All these plants and animals must be adapted to the same climate so that they can live together. A community of plants and animals living together in a particular climate is called a biome. Look at the different biomes found on earth. Let's study some of them. Zones of the earth. Remember the shape of the earth and the idea of latitudes? The sun shines almost vertically in the region close to the equator. The area from the Tropic of Cancer to the Tropic of Capricorn is called the tropical region. It's very hot and humid in the torrid zone. Between the tropics and the polar circles is the temperate region. The north temperate region is from the Tropic of Cancer to the Arctic Circle. The south temperate region is from the Tropic of Capricorn to the Antarctic Circle. It's not too hot or not too cold in the temperate zone. Beyond the Arctic Circle up to the North Pole is the frigid zone. Beyond the Antarctic Circle, up to the South Pole is the frigid zone. It's really cold in the frigid zone. Think and discuss. Explain biome. Which are the different biomes on the earth? Tropics. Tropical evergreen forests. The tropics. What is the climate like here? It's very hot and humid. It rains throughout the year. There is no cold or a dry season during the year. Tropical evergreen forests. The evergreen forests in these regions are called tropical evergreen forests. Why are these forests called evergreen forests? Since there is no dry season throughout the year, the trees do not shed their leaves in a certain season. As the trees are green throughout the year, they are called evergreen, which means green forever. But wait, 
Don't the leaves fall down at all in these forests then? All leaves fall off when they are old. New leaves keep coming up too. All trees keep losing some leaves through the year and get new ones. They don't all lose their leaves at the same time. Get it? Warm and humid climate throughout the year with plenty of water is excellent for trees to grow. So, the trees grow well in the tropical forests. There are lots of trees which have lots of leaves. The tropical evergreen forests are really thick forests. These forests are found in the region close to the equator. The branches of the trees spread out and have a thick growth of leaves. There are many layers of trees too. The tree cover is so dense and thick that sunlight does not reach the ground. The forest floor hardly receives any sunlight. There aren't too many plants there. It's quite open and clear. Since the forest floor is quite clear, a lot of large animals can move about easily. There are many large animals here like the okapi, tapir, rhinos, gorillas. There are also many different reptiles amphibians and insects in the forest. There are also many kinds of fungi that grow on the forest floor. There is a lot of space between the canopy of trees and the forest floor in the tropical forests. This space is home to so many birds, mammals, insects and reptiles. You can see leopards, poison dart frogs, boas, coleoptera, etc. You even see a lot of creepers growing on trees, trying to climb up on them to get some sunlight. The top layer of the trees forms the canopy or the roof of the forest. Most of the trees are tall and the leaves are broad. There are also many orchids, mosses and lichens that grow on these trees. Many birds live here like the hornbill, sunbird, toucans, macaws, etc. There are also animals like the spider monkey, sloth, tamandua, etc. There are some trees that grow even taller than these large trees. These trees are the ones that are really strong. They have to be able to tolerate the hot sun and strong winds as they do not have protection of the canopy. We find animals here too like the eagle, flying fox, king colobus, etc. Hardwood trees like rosewood, ebony, mahogany, etc. grow in these places. What animal is this? Iguana. What animal is this? Anaconda. What birds are these? Macaw. Toucan. What animals are these? Jaguar. Orangutan. There is so much variety of plants and animals, insects and birds in these forests. Tropical forests are called the world's largest pharmacy because more than one fourth of the medicines that we use have been discovered there. These forests are in severe danger. Farming, mining, drilling and settlements are causing deforestation. Cutting down of these forests is harmful 
to humans and the earth. We need to really save them for us. Think and discuss. Why isn't there a thick growth of plants on the forest floor in tropical evergreen forests? Why are tropical evergreen forests called the pharmacies of the world? The tropical evergreen forests around the Amazon basin are called lungs of the earth. Can you say why?